this is where I grew up. So I'm home. I'm on my barefoot land. I've been running barefoot from one end to another end of this valley, I think, countless times. This is one of the last pristine, untouched steppe ecosystems left on Earth. In Nootlin Zam, Temengus, the Dort, Nootl Hotel, the Yurn, the Nootlin and the Lord, Bayer, the Hitag and Hamging Erhom. Genghis Khan was a man of the steppe. He came out of a nomadic tribe. They were accustomed to herding animals and to hunting animals. And he applied the Mongolian system of hunting to conquering nations. This study was done several years ago, and it's possible that as many as 20 million men are the descendants of Genghis Khan. Mongolia today seems to me a very modern society on the surface, but just below the surface, there is a feeling of great antiquity. Our generation, Mongolians, are only third or fourth generation of these urban settlers. The urbanization here in Mongolia is happening too fast. In a period of rapid change, it brings up upheavals of all kinds. Especially the youth is filled with ambitions and aspirations and you know dreams to change the world, change the country. We want to be felt as true warriors like Genghis Khan used to be. If we look at the world before Genghis Khan and after Genghis Khan, the world had changed. Our history has been shaped by him. The laws that we have today have been influenced by him. He had put in motion something that could not be stopped.